Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. I have here another Leonardo Offacina Italiana and this is a Momento Zero in the Grande. But this is a very special Leonardo Offacina Italiana. Uh, it does have a piston and it is the Grande model but that's not what is important here. So let me remove the sleeve here and then you have this black outer shell of a box and it's just a cardboard layer and if I open this up and then slide the box out you have another box and if I open this up you will see Leonardo Officina Italiana and a number of things Firstly, you get the guarantee here, the quality guarantee, uh, talking about the quality of the pen made. You get this as well, which is an important, do not try to unscrew the piston because it is sealed, it is glued into place. And then you have the Memento Zero Grande booklet, and this will go through a number of models and you will see them here and you get quite a nice look at some of the models or patterns and material that Leonardo do in this range of pens and then you have this and as I said it's Leonardo there on the underside of the case uh, you get a bottle of ink in all of these Leonardo Grande Memento Zeros and this one is turquoise and then you have the pen and if I remove the pen uh, and you will see here that this is a very very special pen and this is just labelled here Leonardo Officina Italiana but this is a pen that was made in collaboration with Novelli in Rome in Italy Novelli is a fountain pen and pipe store and Marco uh, runs the Novelli shop and it's Novelli.it now this is the Novelli Leonardo Wild World and this is the Amazon and this is a really beautiful pen you can just see here the amount of chatoyance that you get and this actually does remind me very similarly of Arco if you look up here you'll see a little bit of Arco like material now and likewise down here on the body and on the cap so this really is a beautiful material it's an amazon green color material but it's got a lot of of reflective material inside it and a lot of uh, chatoyance going on there as well in the pen so this is the leonardo grande model the of the memento zero so the cap comes to a point here at the cap finial now the cap doesn't, it, it tapers in towards the end of the cap, it doesn't flare out as much as say a regular Memento Zero does, but it does still flare out a fair amount to these three cap bands and then you have a little ring here on the body and then it tapers back down again to what is the piston filling knob. Now this is a sort of glued in cartridge converter so you can access it like this rather than unscrewing the body now if I unscrew the cap here you will see here also something else that's a rather special is as well it is a 14 karat gold flex nib and this is the winged cutout version of that nib and you can just see that there and then if I unscrew the body you will see it has a cartridge converter 
and it is filled with the ink that comes with the pen but you do actually see this lovely pattern that's going on here all the way around that converter and then it says Leonardo Officina Italiana there and if I screw the body back on you will see here that these grandes are a very very nice size in my hand I do have large hands but for me I like this a lot uh, you can post the caps as well if you want to. Uh, it does make it a lot longer. Um, I don't need to post the caps personally. The reason why I like these grandes is that the grande sections are a little bit wider uh, down here at the base of the section. It does flare out in terms of a flute here and then to a um, sort of thread section here which is very very fine and you do not feel at all so I can hold the the pen right down at the base of the section or I can hold it up a little bit higher and I typically do high, hold it up a little bit more higher on the section there but then you have these winged cutouts on that 14 karat gold nib so this is quite an interesting pen now as I understand it, that this is a limited edition of only 10 pens. So it is a very, very exclusive uh, limited edition. Uh, it's not a cheap one as well. Um, it's because it does have a 14 karat gold nib and it does have an ebonite feed there. So you can see that there, very contoured ebonite feed. Uh, and that helps with the capillary action to getting the ink onto the page but for me I love these grandes I do love the size the weight of them I like that they are a little bit more weightier than a regular memento zero so I think with that let's do a size check we'll do a weight check we'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample so the length of this pen we are looking at about 152 millimeters in length the length of the cap we are looking at 67 millimeters in length so this is a large pen now if we measure from the tip of the nib or the tip of the tines we are looking at about 135 millimeters in length so again that is a large pen I think let's do a weight check now this pen is inked up a little bit it's not fully inked but the weight of the pen you are looking at just over 38 grams in weight and the weight of the cap is just under 11 grams and then the weight of the body I don't let it roll off is almost 25 grams in weight so that is a little bit more of a heavier pen than say the original memento zeros but it's a a weight of pen that I like a lot so I think with that let's do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have our Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Positano Blue. We have a Memento Zero in the Blue Hawaii, a Memento Zero in the Dark Hawaii. We have a Mediterraneo, we have the Novelli and this is the Wild World Amazon in the Grande. We have another Memento Zero Grande and this is in the Sand. We have a regular Memento Zero in the Conway Stewart Red Stardust, a Memento Zero in the Conway Stewart Blue Stardust, we have a Leonardo Stilo and Style and this is the Roman Bronze and then we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Blue Luchens. So I think let's go and do a writing sample. So this is the Leonardo Officina Italiana and it's the Memento Zero in the Grande now 
this is also a collaboration with Novelli. So this is the Novelli and it's the Wild World and uh, it's the Grande and it's the Amazon. Now the ink in here is Leonardo Turquoise and this is a 14 cat gold so I'll put up here 14 cat gold and it is a uh, it's actually a fine nib but to me this writes more like uh, I would say a broad western nib. This is actually quite a broad nib. It's definitely not a fine nib. Now, in line variation, if I try not to apply any pressure, I guess I am kind of getting a little bit more of a finer line here. But because of these wing cutouts, you can push the nib a lot higher. But I would not push any more than that. Because that, to me, is really what I would call my limit here in terms of pushing the nib. Now, in terms of wetness of this nib, this is quite a wet nib. Now, what do I like and what do I not like about this pen? So, I absolutely love this material. I also absolutely love the Leonardo Memento Zero Grandes. I love the size. Um, initially, I wasn't too keen on the Galudin cartridge converter, but I do like it, although they have now started offering proper pistons. Uh, that are not sort of, uh, you cannot remove the body on. Now, I love the material. I love this material. It's a really gorgeous, beautiful material going on there. And it does remind me in a number of ways of the Arco Celluloid. Um, I like this nib as well. I like the, the winged cutouts here on the nib. I really do like how that nib writes. It does, admittedly, write a little bit more like a fine sort of... Or initially, it should be a fine nib, but it writes more like a broad nib. But for me, I like it. I really do like this pen. Now, this pen was on or is on loan to me at the moment. I will try and stop that pen rolling. So this pen is on loan to me, and uh, this will be going back to its owner. But I do like this pen. I do like it a lot. It's it's a beautiful pen, and you will see here, this does say number 2 of 10. So this is a very, very limited edition pen. Uh, and it's a pen that, I do like a lot. So I'm really glad that I was able to um, receive this pen on loan for review. Uh, I'm very tempted actually picking one up if there is one still available. I suspect with only 10 available, Marco has probably sold them all by now. Uh, but this is a beautiful pen and uh, I think it's a great collaboration between Marco at Novelli and Salvatore and Chiro at Leonardo Officina Italiana. So that's my review of the Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande, the Novelli Wild World Amazon. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.